Now I know people will read the title of this video and be like well obviously fans haven't been happy for a while, this we all know, but it seems as though guys things are getting worse thanks to people can fly and the way in which they seem to be handling things generates the feeling as if all is okay with the game and this is making fans even angrier. Today we get into this a little bit more. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So a couple of days back we got the great damage control developer insights blog from people can fly. Now I say great with a little sarcasm, as although for many people like me a little confused about how damage works and even scales within this game thanks to our own confusing instances you can learn a bit from their post no doubt about it but the problem i'm seeing and the community's frustrations continue with the fact that it's all good and dandy people can fully explain how damage works in the game and it makes sense why the damage mitigation issue took so long to fix but at the end of the day guys the problems go way deeper than just damage the whole end game system within this game is the thing most community has the problems with i've said it before and i'll say it again the end game in outriders is not only limited in terms of what's on offer it's limited in terms of the player and what needs to be built to take advantage of the end game within outriders and if I'm honest with you, I get the feeling that all of this actually just shows the lack of insight people can fly have and what makes a fun endgame feature. Us as a player going into the endgame as in reality, we are limited in terms of what needs to be made to compete against those gold challenge tier scores. We need DPS, no two which ways about it. Changes need to be made which can be done easily which allows not just DPS builds to dominate higher scores and fast times. We were promised a game in which we can build our classes in any way we like and although we can, in that end game, we are seriously limited in terms of actual efficient builds compared to what could be possible and this is due to the lack of insight around end game due to it all just going in one direction and that is a DPS speedrunning build mode. That's what expeditions basically are and it's for a reason like this why many people are angry. This explaining why damage mitigation is a big part of the game and when it breaks it's why it takes ages for it to be fixed, we get that. But this isn't an issue which is important enough or even detrimental enough to the game when there are much bigger problems here. And I feel this is a problem many people the community are having here. Like I said it's like people can fly don't actually see the issues the game has. And no doubt we will get another developer insight into loot drops which will be fine and no doubt a good read. But will it fix the many loot drop problems the game has in terms of 150 plus legendaries in any given loot pool making the chance of getting said item you want or need even harder due to no trickle kind of system in place which increases chance of that certain loot? I mean I said within the demo days that I hope this game has some kind of loot pools and not loot pools in regards to loot levels, loot pools in regards to certain places dropping certain loot. I said this back then and I'll say it now, it would help massively. But even beyond loot, expeditions themselves have not been utilised right and like I said earlier are basically DPS build speedruns where we just chase a timer. When in fact they could be so much more, they could be score based, enemy kill based. This alone literally two ideas off the top of my head would allow players to play around with other builds which don't count on damage per second. It adds fun into the game and allows people to experiment way way more and actually succeed with their experimentation, making it worth the effort. What we have right now is build a DPS build, storm through challenge tiers and done. That's it. And to be honest at the end of the day the signs were kind of there from the beginning and their direction was clear. The very first patch they nerfed us, taking away the very fun we were having by making things harder, making us less efficient and quite clearly limiting what and how we play the game. Taking away the player's ability to feel overpowered in many regards makes sense in a PvP game. This is strictly PvE and them doing so so early on showed the kind of insight they had in regards to how they want people to play their game and not allow us to play how we want to play. Yes they have recently buffed a few of those underpowered abilities over the past week but it's still in regards to DPS and after really looking online the past few days many of the community feel the same way as I do. There are still many many core problems with the game even with perfect stable connections and no dodgy one hitting enemies if the game eventually gets into that kind of state, a decent state, 
The game itself doesn't offer enough in terms of that end game to keep the player happy because it's extremely limited in what can be done and what needs to be done to play and succeed. So yeah, although these developer insights are decent reads, 99% of the community want to see some concrete changes put in place which actually affect and benefit the player in the game. But hey guys, this is just my opinion and how I'm feeling right now. But what do you guys think? Do you think they're kind of undermining us as a player by the things they are doing here? Do you feel they actually know for themselves what's best for the game? You tell me. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button, people. Well, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.